Guys, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded, I just needed a break, but it seems like I coincidentally chose the best time to take a break actually, because Realm is on fire right now because of the bugs. I am not exaggerating when I say this month is definitely a record when it comes to the craziest bugs and the amount of them in the history of Realm of the Mad God. And you know what, I always have to say sorry because I was really wrong in my previous video about the seasonal mode. I critiqued some design choices being the worst part of the update, like the fact that you can keep your main pet on your seasonal characters. But the reason why I was so wrong is because of bugs. I completely forgot about how buggy some updates can be in Realm, and that was definitely by far the worst part of the update. Come on kids, let me show you. So I was streaming the moment the seasonal update hit, and oh my god. Each of the worst bugs in Realm history came back in an even worse form. It was like that Spider-Man movie where all the villains came back and teamed up. You had rollbacks, disconnects, loading screens, vault wipes, and even crazier bugs that I can't wait to show you. So on this said stream, I was doing a wicked HPE. It was going amazing. My insane luck started with a tier 2 armor and tier 1 HP ring. Wow. Then we shot up to a tier 6 armor from that. Unbelievable. Nice. And then everyone's heart dropped when my stacked character almost died. But we made it through that nail-biting moment. All this time, I was stuck on a T0 katana. Until we found a spider den. So we were fighting through all the armies of spiders left and right. I felt my heart pounding through my shirt as I was clawing through the dungeon. I got rewarded with an ability upgrade while clearing the dungeon. And then we got to the boss. Really important to dodge the projectiles here. I go left, I go right. The boss dies. And yes, I got it. The legendary T6 Katana. I was so excited. Now time to leave the spider den to have some fun with it. And then this happened. This was so sad. My T6 Katana. Turns out one of the features of the seasonal update is every time you entered or left a dungeon, there was an extremely high chance of getting rolled back. And people were pissed. This guy lost the ST ring from Pirate Cave, for example. So sad. Now, if you think those rollbacks were crazy, you've seen nothing yet. So you know how Realm with the Mad God is a permadeath game, right? We've all had some crazy deaths, right? That you just wish you could reverse, right? Well, when this update initially came out, you could actually bring your characters back to life. People's characters were reviving right after they died. When this week is this week because... <laughs> Wait, both of us died. This this wizard died in a mountain temple and I didn't clip it. It died. It died. Why? Look, it's dead. This is this is the this is the this is the proof. It it won't load the death, but it resurrected it. And I've been able to go in other dungeons or in, in realm and, and level it up. And now now I bugged my game. But that's what it lets me do, and uh, the seasonal kit is so fucking <laughs> Only drawback to this is that you have to wait through one more loading screen, and the loading screens of this update, holy <laughs> shit, they were so bad. I could have actually done the first meaningful thing in my life with all this time I had waiting for my character to roll back. People were really not having a good time. I mean, of course, even without the disconnects and the load times, it was basically impossible to progress a character. So they just disabled the seasonal mode so they could give it a fix. And when seasonal mode came back, it was perfect. Realm of the Mad God was a utopia for gamers everywhere. Everyone was so sorry for doubting the devs. Then people started paying way too much real money in the game out of appreciation. And it was the seasonal mode that came in clutch, winning Realm of the Mad God Game of the Year at the Best Game Awards. All right, Game of the Year winner is Realm of the Mad God. Just kidding. Except for the players spending way too much money, that definitely happens. Come on guys. But put your seatbelts back on because I haven't even shown you half of the bugs that came from the seasonal mode update. Before I continue with showing you Bug Life 2 Rotomega Seasonal Mode, please let me ask you, why the hell were seasonal characters so buggy if there was like 5 different testing sessions for them? Well the community manager did say that testing servers didn't suffer the same stress as main servers did in terms of how many people were playing it, so they couldn't actually test it properly. Mm -hmm. 
and I guess that kind of makes sense. But why even do so many testing sessions for coming updates then? Even if we pretend that the update wasn't buggy AF, I feel like all the testing nowadays kills hypes for coming updates, like the seasonal mode. I remember when Oryx 3 and Summoner were initially getting released, they only had a few hours of testing on the day before they hit the main servers, and then when it did go live, everyone was so hype. Oh my god, so many summons, holy f- mm. What the f- ah. When I checked my friends list, I had to actually scroll down to see offline friends, and everyone that was online was playing Summoner. Compare this to the release of Kensei and Shadows, where Kensei and Shadows had like 5 different testing sessions. Then, when both hit live servers, most people I know, including me, were already sick of Kensei and Shadows. What do the closed testers get paid so much to even do? By the way, just to quickly touch base on the criticisms I had for the seasonal mode from my last video, they were basically 1. While is this not a PPE mode instead of a seasonal mode? 2. Why could you stack up a level 1 character with real money? And 3. I don't know man, some other stuff. Well, will we ever get a PPE mode? I did show a clip from a previous Decker livestream where they literally said they would with extreme excitement from the lead designer. Will there be a PPE mode? Yes! <laughs> yes, there will be! <laughs> so definitely yes. The community manager was also in this clip and he was directly asked on Discord if the PPE mode was still coming. He kind of dodged the question by saying that a future season could have the PPE rules, which is kind of true, but it would kind of be annoying because it would be time restricted. But why can't we have both? Why you do this? I mean, we know why. Here comes the money! He also said Decker said they would never do a PPE mode. Huh? <laughs> so definitely what? yes. I gotta say though, I really appreciate this community manager because he actually manages the community, unlike whatever the last guy was. Man, I'm, I'm not a boomer, come on. My second issue of the seasonal mode is that you would probably be able to use gold to buy near best gear like ST sets as soon as you start a character, and much more than that, which did come true, but I never anticipated that you would also be able to use the fame you gained on your main characters to also get gear, so you would be able to completely skip the early to mid game progression by buying gear from the bazaar up to tier 12, costing you a small amount of fame. Some players were also going a bit overboard with it and spending a massive amount of their fame to then sell the items to max their characters quicker. Also then they were using leftover pots to then trade for even better gear than what was available in the bazaar. Also I was pretty annoyed with the fact that even me who wasted too much on this game on the vault slots on the main characters would still have to buy vault expansions in the seasonal mode. Now how naive of me to assume that this would be a one-time purchase for all seasons. Instead they made it reset on seasons man. Oh my god, you have to buy the vault every season and then it disappears. I am not making this shit up. I gotta take a breather. Be right back. Initially, the only benefit of playing seasonal characters was a plus 10% VXP boost, but apparently that wasn't even working. <laughs> So, uh, how am I supposed to finish my battle pass? Re. Speaking of the battle pass, the community got a bit pissed for another reason. Because in a testing session, the battle pass didn't offer enough of these tokens. What the tokens were, were tokens that offered plus 20% discounts that could stack up to 100% if you got all five. In the testing session, they only added up to an 80% discount, so you couldn't get the next one free if you completed this new battle pass. Now, you Mr. Viewer might be like, this isn't a charity, why would it be free? Well, Decker actually promised in the latest production letter, way before the release of seasonal characters, and also with the release of the first season, eight months after, that if you purchase a battle pass, and then play enough that you get the tokens in each battle pass, then you'll get the next one free. Now, I want to see how many of you guys watching this video were like me, that only bought the first battle pass, because I had the expectation that they would keep this promise and it would be like a recurring free battle pass. To be honest, I didn't play enough last season to um, get this one free, but if they didn't make this claim twice before, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. You guys got me good, you sly tricksters. 
To be fair though, we could be wrong. It was just testing. There's a chance it wouldn't make it into the game, especially with all the backlash on all other parts of the update already. More on the battle pass later. A few months ago, I made a video on a bug where it made items just disappear, vanish, into thin air. Obviously, this one bug is horrible, and also at that time, I thought that it was Realm's most buggiest state. And at that time, I was taking a break because of it as well. Thankfully, over time, there's been less reports of it, which means surely the devs have been working hard fixing it. And then just before the seasonal mode came out, it feels like it was basically gone. And then Dookie Games said, hold my beer, and the bug came back worse than ever before. With the fix to the seasonal update, we had heaps of new vault management features. 1. Vault rollbacks, just like before but much more frequent. And then 2. A brand new vault management feature in the form of vault wipes, where it would replace your main character's vault and the gift chest with your seasonal character's vault and gift chest. And free, a new forge wipe feature where blueprints would randomly disappear so you don't have to worry about scrolling too much down your blueprint list. Also with this update, people's characters were randomly changing from seasonal characters to normal ones. Imagine spending hundreds of hours on a character just for it to revert to normal. That would be pretty fun. Eventually, I think all these issues were fixed and from this point onwards the game would be bugless. Pretty awesome update for Realm came out recently. I'm not even being sarcastic this time. It's not often that Realm of the Mad God gets endgame dungeons, but it got a brand new one called Steamworks, and I really like this one in particular. The way I see it, it's kind of like an epic Cave of a Thousand Treasures, because it's basically the only other dungeon other than Cave of a Thousand Treasures with hazards that you have to avoid. And on top of that, the sprites and the boss are pretty damn badass. Also, exclusively for seasonal characters, they got missions which are like goals to hit and then you get rewards which include candies to max a single stat, an item to max all of a single character stats and even whites like crown and superior which is a staff that you can normally only get from Oryx free. And since Realm of the Mad God from this point is bugless, everyone lived happily ever after. Just kidding. Just like with every new update nowadays, the content it brought was unplayable. Like, firstly with the Steamworks dungeon, once you got to a certain phase with the boss, it became unkillable. Also, mission progress would roll back, and the progression would become locked after leaving a dungeon, so you wouldn't be able to complete them anymore if you did want to complete the same mission again for some reason. Now of course, they made Steamworks keys unavailable until the issues were fixed, but there goes all the hype for that update as well. Also, remember how we talked about the battle pass rumour of it not being free anymore if you did pay for the first one and then complete complete this season, as well as all the previous. Decker doubled down and made the discount for it if you progress through the whole season even less, from the 80% we saw in testing to 60%. So people were even more pissed. The highest post on Reddit was one calling for a boycott. Do people still spend money on this game? At least Decker was generous enough to make it that vaults purchased on seasonal characters will transfer to your main at the end of the season, and then you'd have to buy another vault next season. After the next day or day after, all the issues with Steamworks and missions were fixed. But I can't believe this actually happened. I kid you not, with that hot fix, Almost every previous issue I've mentioned came back again. Inventory rollbacks. Character revives. And items disappearing from the vault. What? What? How? What? What did we do to deserve this? Now, it's been a week since that hotfix, and again, most of the issues are gone. Maybe even all of them. I don't know, because I haven't been playing. I've just been watching the show from a good distance. Even when Realm is unplayable, it's so much fun watching all the craziness happen and making videos on it. But it is also kind of depressing at the same time. Just give Realm the love it deserves, please. <laughs> I just want this game to be good, man. Honestly, Realm used to be my favourite game to play, because it just has something that no other game does. That's why I want to dedicate this channel towards Realm-like games. But yeah, I really hope that Realm does make a comeback and gets the love and fixes it deserves, so I can waste way too much of my life, and maybe even money, on the game again. 
Will all the bugs get exterminated? Will this game be safe for Seb to play? Find out with the next update. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. I love to read every single comment. Also make sure to like, subscribe. My next video will be a video on Darza's Dominion, why I've been kind of silent on it, and a monumental update that is coming for it. Guys, I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I wish you guys happy holidays. I'm returning to streaming on the 2nd of January, and uh, I love you. Peace.